gave myself one year. January 1st, 2001. That's when I decided, I mean, invited to join the Clementia Academy. Wakoneko. Yamabai. Went into classroom. Mungo got the hunger. What? Mungabai. Went into a restaurant. I'm living in that region. I become a woman. I started to do From the first month, I did that purposely to add in Suma result. Nay, I will leave when the time comes. First year, the Amitsah flight to my airport, Mato de Mundo. Munima, Uncle Gondin and Nagabai, Uncle Gondin and Nagabai, Uncle Gondin and Nagabai, Uncle Gondin and Nagabai, because I had to fight. Me, I had to be able to maintain the Dama in my body. Then, at the conference hall, Congress hall, same day, I assisted to the people. The Coco. So Lulu Kunua get the risk to come back to Sene, the Mapuga money football for six months. Risk la, big, big risk. Because anything you want to happen, we now lose at Kadabis. I will not lose it. I won't allow to myself to lose it. No. Because I know the Lima Wah. Lima Wah. Lima Profess. Football. I want to touch on first, and then we can get into the other sports. Football for a long time we've been playing, but we've not been doing it well, in my opinion. And that is why we could not excel. We could not get to the level that we all wanted to play at the World Cup or the African Cup. Yes, we've done well at the Guinea categories. We have no doubt. We have accepted that that we have done well at the Guinea categories. Beginning in the early part of 2000, 2004 to 2005, the under 17, then the under 20. All of these categories did well. Now, in, in the philosophy of football, those levels are preparatory levels. If you go to FIFA, that's what they tell you. That the under 17, the under 20, these are levels that they prepare players for the bigger challenges, and these are the challenges at the senior level, because that's where football really matters. You prepare at the grassroots. So in other words, at the under 17, under 20, under 23, that's all, all been categorized as grassroots. They are the levels that you prepare these players for the bigger challenges. We've done, been doing very well there. We've been winning trophies. We've been taking part in continental and uh, global competitions, we said it's not enough. And we want to get to higher heights. How do we get there? We ask people to come and work with us so that we can get to those places together. They refused. We had no choice. We realized we're pumping a lot of resources. Anytime we will heighten people's expectations that we will get there and we will never get there. We got enough of it. We said government taxpayers' resources are getting wasted and wasted continuously. It is not acceptable. The minimum that you will spend to airlift a team to go and play abroad will be about $2 million. Every time they go and play is $2 million. That's the minimum on air tickets, only on tickets. Accommodation will not come, allowances will not come, much bonuses are not there to talk about. These are monies that government could have used into other pressing areas. The health sector, 
education, agriculture, and even in sports where it matters. But people will not listen. He said, look, let's change the game plan a bit. Work with us so that we can begin to bring the results and the returns from our investments. They refused to cooperate. But we cannot let that game of um, deceit and lack of results continue. And that's when we had to come in and say, look, enough is enough. We will forcefully change the game plan. And this is where we are, to cut story start. This is where we are. We have come in to change the game plan. And we are calling all stakeholders to come on board so that we change this game plan for the benefit of everybody. And yes, we know that we're, they, used, they will come and tell me we have first division, second division, third division football in the regions. But where do you go with that first division team? Well, where else does it play? There is a national league. Do we have any of our so-called first division teams playing in the national league? They are not, as far as I know. So that dichotomy, that division between the regions and, and, and the greater Banyan area is what we want to break. So that anybody who has the means and the capability and the skills to play from the regions can play in the first division league, the real first division. It cannot continue. And the other painful part of it is you create clubs, they deceive you, they are clubs, and then when Congress comes, you go, 200 delegates go and vote. That's why it stops. Those clubs, nobody will hear of, of them anymore. I'm just new in the game. I'm coming in, but all this information I know, I have now. I think you guys can even explain them to me better because you have been players in it for a long time. So these are the things we want to change. You're saying, according to the new policies we are proposing, get your regional associations, regional football, you call it any name in the regions, Sierra Regional Football Associations, which you will manage, you will constitute by yourselves, you will part fund yourselves, you will organize your own football here, and then there will be a linkage, a very smooth pathway that your clubs and your players can go into the national level. This is the framework that we are proposing to the regions. You play football in the schools, you play football at the community level, and so on and so forth. And the constitution that we are also bringing to you is going to give equal representation of all the regions, all the seven regions, three from each region, as mentioned by the chairman. Fair and equal, KMC, BCC, West Coast, North Bank, and all the way down to URR, everybody will produce three delegates on your behalf to go at Congress to elect who you want to be elected as president of the Federation. That's another point to note, because we are also saying Gambia Football Association will change into a federation, so that all of these regional associations will be affiliated to the Federation. That is empowering the regions. We don't know why people will resist this. But of course, it's helpful to dialogue, we, you know, and that's why we are here. Any of your fears, any of your worries that you have in all of this new thinking that we are bringing to you, bring them forward so that we can address them together. Because this is the way forward. This is the only way forward. We have participated long enough without bringing results. We've wasted a lot of money on foreign coaches, on participating in international games without bringing any results. Those millions could have stayed here to develop you in the regions. I think the Alfa, be a clover for me, you have a 